So before you add things that are not in the Bible, check the things that are in the Bible. Have you done them? Those are the ones that matter. Like I was sharing, if Jesus Christ comes today in our churches, he will pull down the Christmas lights and he will pull down the Christmas trees. Just like when he entered the temple and saw the money changers, he kicked their tables and kicked their money. My house shall be a house of prayer, not a house of Christmas tree and Christmas light. My house shall be a house of prayer, a house of prayer. A house of prayer. A house of prayer. Amen. So if Jesus comes, people expect him to do what they want. But Jesus will do the opposite. He will give to them. This is not what I told you. What I told you, repent from your conquer. Repent from your adultery. Repent from your fornication. Repent from this. Repent from that. That's what matters first. Repent that's the change of the will of God. Now you need to search the scriptures and seek him. Continue to follow him and obey him. That's why we are here on earth. Thank God for mommy, thank God for daddy, thank God for brothers and sisters, but we are here on earth for Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, whatsoever Jesus commands you to do, that should be your focus. That should be your focus. Do it God's way, not your own way. That's what matters. Hallelujah. So, I know some people might be angry or upset when I say things like this. You know, as, 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 as a preacher, you can die. For me, I can die anytime. I don't know when I'm going to die. So, if I die, I go to heaven. Not this, you know, this shit, you don't share with people. How am I going to go? Yeah. Because sometimes God will judge you according to, to the things you need. Hallelujah. If the gospel was presented to you and you rejected it, then you will be judged according to that. Hallelujah. So if I die and I go to heaven, and God tells me, my son, if you knew these things, but why do you not share it with you? You understand? That's one thing is very important that we share. We don't just share things that we like, we should share things that you don't like.
not you going to put your Christmas light and Christmas tree. No, put, put more fire in your spirit. That's what matters. And shine your light like Andrew was saying. That's what matters. Growing more in Christ is knowledge, truth, and grace and power. That's what matters. I was saying that and I need to share something about the science of spiritual maturity. Because today we think that when we grow with the Lord, when we are growing with God, there are no signs. But there are signs that you are growing with God. Number one, you become more humble. Number two, you, you begin to love more, love more, love people more. You begin to see how great God is in every, in every person. You begin to grow in humility, in power, in love. These are one of the three major ways that you discover the Christian is growing. Because you cannot believe in God and then you are proud. Hallelujah. 